Enjoy 1% merchant commission when you accept Lanka Pay cards. Contact these banks today. Top serving and retired officials including the former secretary to the president P.B. Jayasundera, former central bank governors W.D. Laxman and Ajith Navad Cabral and current governor Nandalala Wirasinghe were among those who appeared before the Committee on Public Finance to answer queries on policy decisions taken in the past two and a half years that have resulted in the current economic crises in the country. The situation got a little tense after Governor Weerasinghe during his submission to the committee said that the blundering on the economy was due to the wrong advice given by officials and said it is important for the officialdom to desist from engaging in politics. <laughs> Responsible government officials should refrain from engaging in politics and that the difference between a politician and an official should be properly recognized. The duty and responsibility of an official is to inform the politicians when they are not correct. Politicians alone are not responsible for the consequences of such decisions, Weerasinghe said. Former Secretary to the Ministry of Finance S.R. Atigala however said he had not engaged in politics and said it was the pandemic situation including the suspension of vehicle imports other than the change in the government's tax policies, led to the country's economic collapse. It is unreasonable to claim that the country lost nearly 500 billion rupees due to the change in tax policies of the new government, as this was due to the loss caused by the import restrictions imposed, including the suspension of the import of vehicles, and the economic contraction caused by the Covid situation, Atigala said. He said the decisions regarding tax policies were taken in keeping with the first cabinet paper presented by the former Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa on 4 December 2019. For more latest news, subscribe to FTTV.